The e-cart uses several layers of safety to make sure that it can operate safely in any type of industrial environment. We're always following the safety standards on both the American and the European market. The e-cart utilizes two safety rated laser scanners placed in opposite corners, creating a 360 degree field of view around itself. So every time a person or an object enters the field of view, the laser scanner will detect it and react accordingly. When it's driving automatically in line follow, the e-cart operates with three different zones. The largest zone being the slowdown zone, which slows the e-cart down. Then we have the second zone, which is the warning zone, so where the e-cart will make a stop and wait until the object is out of the way. The smallest inner zone is called the protection zone, where the e-cart will hit the brakes immediately for a safe stop. The laser scanner zones is always changed according to the speed of the e-cart, so in the slowdown area, the speed of the e-cart is slower and the safety zones is reduced. But as the speed picks up on a straight line, the zones increase in size. The max speed of the e-cart is 0.7 meters on a straight tape line, but as the situation changes with curves, slowdown areas, and safety slowdown, the e-cart will adjust its speed to about 0.3 meters per second. As an object enters the zone, the e-cart will enter the slowdown mode to decrease speed first, and then stop as it gets too close. But at max speed, the zone is above one meter in front of the e-cart. On all four sides of the e-cart, we also have emergency stop buttons. When pushed, this will immediately break the safety circuit, initiate the brakes, and abort all operation. The e-stop then have to be manually reset and reset inside the app to ensure that it is safe to use again. If a person or object enters the laser scanner zone, the e-cart will stop and continuously wait for that object to be removed. When it detects a free path, it will resume by first sounding its beeper and then continue its operation. E-cart, we like it. It's, it's basically set up to wear when material handlers ask for empty, tucker, empty toes. We set up for the center to them. It works better because we used to have a fork layer. Now it's set up to wear, it sends it down to them. Material handlers set, cars, set uh, cones out for when they need where they want to stop at. It makes it easier because at once it was a two-man job. Now one person can actually do the job and it helps safety-wise for us. Before we had a manual car, we had to drive down there and that eliminates one of the people from being in the back. At this point, the e-car takes it down there for us. Now we don't have to go. Each individual material handler set up a cone for where they want their toast to go to. After they get done, they send it back with the finished goods. Same way, when it comes back to shipping, we take them off in advance. Before it gets back there, we ask them in advance, do they need what other toast do they need to stay ahead of them? And after it gets back, it's just like a repeat process. Load and unload, finished goods, and empty toast. So at the cart, as a part of a series of additional tugger carts that we have applied, it's allowed us for the material handlers to not have to touch the material. They hook it up to a cart, it sends down uh, to the other end, which we then uh, take it off this cart and put in finished goods. So there was a labor savings there. Um, it allows for a much safer environment. Uh, a tugger driver himself is more apt to be in a hurry if he's behind. He's more apt to maybe vary a little bit off the path uh, and put himself at risk or somebody else as he's trying to get around something. This forces there to be nothing in its way and it forces everybody to do the things the right way so that it goes around this path on time. So the e a modular task form that we're able to automate using what we call smart building blocks. We have LED modules on each of the corners of the e -cart. We have a brain module in the center. We have two drive motors, a swappable lithium battery, a tow hitch for towing, and a tablet stand. And you can actually build any one of our top structures on top of the e-cart. So on the brain module, which I mentioned, we have two cameras, one in the front and back. Those perform the line follow application. So with our brain module, it's only reading for the color contrast of the tape. So it's not following any kind of magnetic strip or any kind of special tape. It's essentially just looking for that color contrast. 
So because we're just using a visual system for our tape, you can use any type of tape. You could even paint a line on the floor if that's the requirement for your application. So with our brain module and the tape, it can cover about eight inches in a straightaway and four inches in a curve. So if you have a lot of heavy forklift traffic and such like that, it can cover gaps in the tape. We've had zero, actually zero safety issues since we uh, started using this cart. Um, functionally, it actually cost as much as a tugger did, so that you had to drive. So we've sent one of those away. Um, and then lastly, uh, we've been able to allow our material handlers to do different applications and things, and it's freed up time for them to do other things other than just move parts from one place to the other. So first I would say that it's the ease of setup, right? And it's the function that it has. So you lay a layer of tape, the cart follows itself. Uh, you can pre-program, stops into it with an RFID card, or you can just drop cones like we use in the majority of our plant for it once to, where you want it to stop. Um, on the affordable side, this cart I would say is a third of the cost of most, most carts out there. Um, it has ease of use. If there's a repair needed, uh, it's something that I can do myself and I'm not sure I could do much on a car.